today I want to talk about two more modes beside the manual mode. So I'm shooting everything in manual mode, which means I always have to decide about the aperture and the shutter speed. And so that might be a problem because when I'm shooting here in Spain, I have the sunlight and I have shadows and they all go together. And so I always have to check if I'm too bright or if I'm too dark. And if you do not want to check that every time, let's say I take a picture right here. You see the sky is very blue. The wall is a little bit dark, but that's actually okay. But you know, if I go down these steps here, I will be in shadows. The next step I will be in light. And so I have to change every time I take a picture, take a look if the setting is correct. So for this, we can use the AV mode or the TV mode. So what is the AV mode? In the AV mode, we can control the aperture, which means I can decide, do I want the background to be totally clear, totally sharp, or do I want it to be blurred out? Let's say I have a fast prime lens, 1.8. Then I go to f1.8 and I know that all pictures I take, the background is blurred out, the foreground is sharp, and the camera decides the rest. So if I'm shooting in shadows, let me just see. If I'm shooting in shadows or if I'm shooting in daylight, the camera decides um, about the settings, about the shutter speed. And this is very helpful if you do not want to check all your settings all the time. So the camera helps you. So the AV mode, if you really want to decide, I want the, black, I want the background blurred out all the time, I want to focus on faces, the background I want blurred out, choose 1.8, 2.0, 2.8, something like this if your lens can do that. This lens cannot do this. This is uh, widest open at 3.5. Okay, or you go to f9 for, 11, for example, if you want everything to be uh, sharp. If you want the background and the foreground to be sharp, you choose f9 or f16, depending on how much light you have. And the camera decides the rest for you. Okay, now the other mode is the TV mode. Here we can control the shutter speed and the camera decides the aperture. Why do we want to control the shutter speed? Let's say we're shooting an event, a sports event, maybe a mara marathon, maybe a Formula One race, maybe a, a bicycling race, where we have a lot of speed that we want to capture, we want to freeze the moment. Then I can go to the TV mode and I can control the shutter speed. For example, I choose one thousands of a second and the camera decides the aperture and if I go to IS out, automatic ISO the camera decides the ISO automatically so I am sure that all the movement all the pictures I take all movement is sharp and frozen because no picture is below or above one thousandth of a second it's always one thousand of a second or I can go to one four thousandth of a second but then it's very the camera opens very, for only one four thousandth of a second of a time. The, the camera opens its eye. And so I have to go to automatic ISO so the picture will not be totally dark if I'm in bad light conditions. So these two modes will help you if you do not want to do everything manually, if you want the camera to help you. These are two great modes. The AV mode, so you can decide, I want the background blurred out, so I choose aperture f1.8, f2.0, 2.8, or I want everything sharp, the foreground and the background. I choose f9, f10, f11, f, f19. Or the AV mode, if you want to freeze something, you can decide the shutter speed 1,000, 1, 2,000 of a second. These modes will help you if you do not want to stay in manual mode all the time. That's it.